Bruce, mate, um, some good news and some bad news. Unfortunately, Billy Hamilton's had a bit of an injury setback. Um, yeah, so he's not going to be available for this first playoff series. But uh, rest assured, mate, it's going to be all right. I've just left Bayez on the playoff roster for you. Yeah, no, he's been quite good, hasn't he? Yeah. Sorry, mate, I'm going to have to take this. Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Commissioner. To, uh, to what do I owe the honour? What do you mean I can't have Bayez on my playoff roster? Mate, I, you know I don't understand all these silly rules that you have. It's all well and good to say it's the same for everybody, mate, but who's going to play centre field for me? Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villa and welcome to Season 4, Episode 10 of the Toronto Blue Jays. And today it is Game 1 of the ALDS against the Baltimore Orioles. That's who we're playing. They came through the wildcard game. Um, and that is going to be a massive, massive game for us, obviously. But, as you've just seen... We have selection issues in the squad, and that is because for some reason we can't. Well, uh, Billy Hamilton had an injury setback, so not, um, that that happens, I suppose. Uh, so he's not available for this first uh, this first game. He should ho well, hopefully he'll be back um, sooner rather than later. But for some reason, Bayez couldn't be registered in the in the in the playoff squad. Something about he wasn't on the forty man squad before the uh, the the squad expansions or something. I don't understand those rules. You know that. <laughs> you guys all know that. So he couldn't come in. Um so Randall Grishuk is our new center fielder. So yeah, maybe he'll hit a home run for us. I don't know. But that's obviously not ideal. Um so this is the uh, there was somebody else we couldn't register as well. So Martinez has come in because you know he played three games all year but he's eligible. Uh I don't understand. I really, really don't. But anyway, um yeah, so he's in the squad uh, for the, the playoff squad as well. Uh, the pitching side of things, you can see everybody that's made it there. Look at our starting four. Pearson, Duplantier, Snell, and Helsey. That is absolutely beast-like. Um, and we've got John Fleming back in, but in the bullpen, along with uh, Kay and Patterson. So, um, yeah, that's and that's the pitching staff side of things. So let's have, a, I think, to start off, a quick look at how we got to this point Um with the schedule. Uh, we had, of course, six games to play. We swept the A's, which was nice. We lost two and then won our last game against uh, the Yankees. Uh, that left us in a situation where we were we were top. We won 99 games. Unbelievable. So, so close. Uh, we ended up having the best record in the American League. The LA Dodgers won 107 games. They look imperious. Um, so let's hope somebody else beats them for us. Um, but other than that, we were sort of equal with the with the Braves as the second best team in baseball. So we come into this thing in form. Um, one other thing you can see here is that Vlad Jr. ended up winning the batting uh, averages for the American League. Uh, but look at that, almost, what's that, 30 points clear, 32 points clear. Um, so absolutely amazing from Vlad Jr. Look at that. He's just, he missed seven weeks and he's still right up there in a, in a lot of those uh, stats. So anyway... That brings us, as I said, to the uh, to the playoffs. Let's have a quick look at the playoff tree. Um, and we can see there the Orioles got past the A's. The uh, San Diego Padres got past the Washington Nationals. The Padres have taken a one-game lead against the Dodgers. So let's hope that continues. Uh, and the Cardinals have beaten the Braves. It's the Astros and the Tigers in the other series uh, for the American League. Oh, it's playoff time, boys. Let's check the lineups. Boys and girls, of course. There might be uh, some some girls watching this as well. But this is uh, the lineup. It's Khalil Lee leading us off in right field. Bo Bichette bats second at shortstop. Vlad Jr. bats third at first base. It is Rowdy Tellez, the designated hitter. He cleans up for us. Matt Beatty bats five in left field. Jordan Groshans at third base. He bats six. Reese McGuire, the catcher, bats seven. William McQuaid in a slump. He bats uh, eight. He stays at second base. Randall Grishuk in center field. I'm so worried. <laughs> Center field. Gap well soon, Billy. Uh, he goes uh, about number nine. Nate Pearson takes the mound for us today. Look at that season whip. 0.97. Um, wonderful stuff from Nate. We're up against Grayson Gonzalez. No, Grayson Rodriguez. Sorry for them. Uh, a young pitcher in his early days in his career. ERA this regular season just under five. Um, a whip of 136, ERA plus of uh, of 103, a war of 2.3. I suspect he's not their number one guy. The number one guy I would imagine would have gone in the wild card game. So let's hope we can get at this guy. And here we go. Welcome to Toronto. Welcome to the playoffs. And it is a very, very exciting time of year. It is Nate Pearson to start us off. 0 and 2 is the count on the leadoff man who has not got a hit yet this postseason. But of course, that was just the one game in the wild card game. And Nate Pearson starts us off with a strikeout. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. 
Austin Hayes now comes in. He is batting 200 in the postseason. Again, just one game, so a very small sample size. 1-0 and is the count. That is popped up. Khalil Lee is there. He should make a simple catch. He does. And that is what, uh, two away, sorry. And it brings up Anthony Santander, who is batting 500. Went two for four in the wild card game. First pitch swing from him. That is up in the air. Grishuk's going back. Grishuk at the track. Grishuk makes the play. And that is us successfully out of the top of the first. Excellent stuff. Khalil Lee now to lead us off. Come on, Khalil. I wonder if we could maybe use him in Satchel to see if he could play center field and move Grishuk over to right field where he's a little bit more comfortable. But a full count on Khalil Lee. And he pops up the, uh, that, uh, is it payoff pitch? I think it's called. It goes up into center field anyway, and that is one away. Bo Bichette now comes in. Didn't have a good regular season. Battered, I think, below 250. But we know that he's better than that. He's got a wonderful leap out of the batting's box. No chance for third base there. And that is an infield hit for Bo Bichette. In comes the great man, Vlad Jr. Another full count. Vlad Jr. smashes it into right center field. And that is going to keep Bo at second. But two on, one out. And it is Rowdy Tellez, the designated hitter coming in. Now, can he drive in some runs for us? 0-1 is the count. Rowdy Tellez, that is huge! Second tier for Rowdy Tellez, a three-run home run. 409 feet over right field, and that is what you like to see. That's how you start off a playoff series, boys. 3-0 to the Jays. Still only one out. No one, obviously, on now for Matt Beatty. And let's see what he can do. BT, ground ball. And that is well fielded and out at first base. One thing I did want to mention as well is that uh, Vlad's season with the bat, regular season with the bat, he did set new Blue Jays records as Groshan strikes out to end the innings. Um, he did set regular season records for the Blue Jays for both batting averages and slug percentage. Um, so, well done, Vlad. He's just he's too good, isn't he? He is going to be um, just... He's going to top every batting stat, I think, by the time his career's done here. Uh, strikeout for Pearson to start off the second. Mancini comes in now. He's batting 250. Probably went one for four, I would suspect, in that wild card game. There's another strikeout for Pearson. His third of the game. Mount Castle comes in now. He went two for four. Two home runs in the uh, wild card game. So obviously in some good form. One and one is the count. Come on, Nate. That is a ground ball. Gets past Groshans at third. A first hit of the game for the Orioles, and it is a double. A two-out double for Mountcastle. Now, what we don't want to do is uh, make this lead to anything more. If we could get out Urena at the plate, it's good to see him again. He was a good player for us at the Mariners, wasn't he? Back in uh, out of the park 20. That is a ground ball to first base. You probably could have just, you know, stuck your big toe out, Vlad. You would have gone out there. But suddenly we have two out runners at the corners. It's... Uh, Tiquan Forbes? Is that how you would say that? I don't know how you'd say that. Anyway, he went three for four in the wild card game. One and two is the count, and Pearson ends things with a strikeout. They are still scoreless. We go to the bottom of the second, and it is going to be Reese Maguire to lead us off. A full count on the catcher. Maguire swings through strike three. That is one away. In comes McQuaid. McQuaid's regular season, he ended with 99 RBIs. I think that's the third season in a row we've had somebody end on 99 RBIs. Because last year it was Matt Beatty. And I think the season before it might have been Bo or someone. Anyway, it's a walk for... Uh, it, was, it was a walk. Also, I wasn't paying attention. In comes Randall Grishuk, our new center fielder. Randall Grishuk hits it well, and it drops in. Oh, I thought it was going straight to uh, left field's mitt there, but... Not to be, it's a single for Randall Grishuk. Suddenly we're two on one out. Khalil Lee, who is 0 for 1 today, comes up. 0 and 1's the count. Khalil Lee, has he done it again? Khalil Lee with a three run home run. Over right field again. It's 6 to 0. 391 feet on this occasion. And Khalil Lee, I don't think we've seen him get a home run before on YouTube. And he has absolutely crushed that. That'll do it for their pitcher. Raul Ramirez comes in now. He has uh, yet to give up a run in the postseason. It's Bo Bichette who's one for one. Infield hit for him last time up. First pitch swing from Bo. He has crushed that into left field. And we are looking as though we are up for this postseason. In comes Vlad Jr. who's one for one. Bo's at first. Bo looks to steal second. And he gets there. 
Go Bichette with a first stolen base of the postseason. There's a full count on Vlad. What can he do? He draws a walk. And we have two on one out again for Rowdy Tellez. Now, last time, he put the ball on the second tier. What can he do this time? First pitch swing. Bo's looking to steal third. Vlad stands there and watches him, and he's out. He is out. Crab, why do you keep stealing runners to third, mate? Two out, runner at first for Tellez now. One and two's the count. Tellez gets a piece of it, but it's an easy play at first. And that'll do it for the second, but not before we add three more. Wonderful stuff from the Blue Jays. Pearson now to face Freddie Galvis, who went three for four with a home run in the wildcard game. First pitch swing, and Freddie Galvis may have hit a home run here as well. He has. He's absolutely crushed that. That might be bigger than Tellez's. It's 6-1 now as the Orioles start off the third with a home run. And 452 feet. That is absolutely smashed. Diaz comes in now. He's 0-for-1 today. 3-1 and 1 is the count. Come on, Nate. Get back on it. That is a ground ball there to Vlad. Well fielded over to first to Pearson covering. And that is one away. Austin Hayes comes in now. He's 0-for-1 today. 0-2 is the count. That home run's just an aberration, mate. That's an aberration. That's not a problem. Two away with the strikeout. Santander comes in. He's 0-for-1 today. 1-2 and 2 is the count. Two out, no one on. That'll end the third. They do pull one back. But we're still five runs up as BT leads off the bottom of the innings for us. First pitch swing, and he is absolutely crushed. Never looked like missing him, that one. That is uh, BT up to first base. Groshans comes in. He's 0-for-1 today. Only just kept his spot in the team ahead of Peraza, to be honest. But, um, yeah, with another strike out there, he may not be around for game two. In comes Maguire. He's 0-for-1 today. Reese Maguire, that is well hit. It is sailing out of here. For the third innings in a row, we've hit a home run over right field. 364 feet. Only two runs this time for Reese Maguire, but it's 8-1. And we are showing no signs of letting up here. It brings in William McQuaid, who walked last time up. One and two is the count this time. McQuaid gets it up the middle into the shift, though. Shortstop has it over to first, two away. But, uh, yeah, extending the lead. Wonderful stuff. In comes Randall Grishuk, who uh, got a hit last time up. Two and oh is the count. Has he got himself another hit? No. Galvis will catch that. And that'll end the third, but we add two. We extend our lead by one. Well, you know what I mean. It was 6-1. There's seven in front now. And it is Richman coming up. He is 0 for 1 today. A full count on the leadoff man for Pearson. And he finishes him off with a strikeout. Seventh of the game. Mancini comes in now. He's 0 for 1 today. Another full count. And this time it's a walk. You get the feeling these high pitch counts is not gonna it's not gonna end well for uh, for Pearson here. He's gonna end up finding himself taken out of the game relatively early. Another full count to Mountcastle. This time he strikes him out. Now Mountcastle got a hit last time, didn't he? Richard Urina, he went he's one for one. He got the infield hit last time. This time he grounds it again to first base. Flood decides he can touch the base this time, and that'll do it as the uh, top of the fourth comes to an end. And we go to business again with Khalil Lee, who hit that three-run home run last time up. This time, he has grounded at the second. Oh, it's an error. Very quick, and he may have put some pressure on. He wasn't an error. It's an infield hit. So, well done, Khalil Lee. Beau Bichette, who is two for two. Beau Bichette, that may be a double play. They're both... Oh, it's an error. The, the, the pacey man on base for the, uh, for, the, uh, for the Blue Jays has put pressure on the man at third base. He's made an error. Another pitching change, and this bodes well for the series as we chow through their bullpen here. Vlad Jr.'s in, two on, no one out, two and one's the count. Vlad Jr. hits it well, it drops into left field. It loads the bases for Rowdy Tellez. Already has one home run today. Can he get a second? Another full count, no one out. Tellez has looped it over, has he? Yes, he has, against the shift. And that's going to score one. It's a fourth RBI of the game for uh, for Tellez. It's 9-1 to the Blue Jays. It's Matt Beatty coming in. He's 0 for 1 with loaded bases, no one out. Another first pitch swing. Beatty lines it to third base. Everybody gets back, but that is one away. Jordan Groshans, who is 0 for 2. First pitch swing from Jordan. He has grounded it. Is that going to be a double play to end the innings? It is. I think Peraza is going to come in for the next game. But we do add one. 9-1 we are now up. It's going to be Pearson to face Forbes, who's 0 for 1 today. First pitch swing. 
and that is a ground ball, playable by Groshans, and he makes the play, well done. And that is one away. Brings in Freddy Galvis, now he hit the home run last time up, three and one's the count this time. One out, no one on, Galvis grounds at the Bichette, should be a simple play, bow to Vlad, two away. In comes Diaz, who is 0 for 2 today. 0 for 7 in the postseason. A full count. Two out. No one on. That's well hit. Grishuk's there. Grishuk does his best impression of Billy Hamilton in center field with the diving catch. And that ends the top of the fifth. Let's go to business again, boys. It is Reese Maguire. He hit a home run last time up. He's 1 for 2 today. 1 and 1's the count. Maguire gets it into center field. Wonderful stuff. A leadoff single for him. And it's going to bring up to bat now William McQuaid, who is 0 for 1 today. Full count, McQuaid. He has grounded it over towards first base. Runner advances to second. McQuaid is out at first. And that's going to bring up Randall Grishuk, who's 1 for 2 today. Can he drive in a run? 3 knows the count. Grishuk draws the walk. That is 2 on. 1 out for Khalil Lee, who is 2 for 3. 0-2's the count, and Khalil Lee just kind of watches strike three go past. For Bo Bichette now, who is two for three. One and two's the count. Come on, Bo, let's drive in a run. We haven't got one yet this inning. Bo Bichette hits it well. Over center field, is it? Yes, it is, and it is going to score runs in the innings. One run comes across. Two runs come across, and it is a bit of a loose throw there. Go home, Bo, go home. But it is a two RBI triple for Bo Bichette. That's double figures. It's 11-1. to one. And with a runner at third, it is Vlad Jr., who is two for two with a walk. And Vlad, I think he's popped that up. It's staying in. Right field is there. And that'll end the innings. But two more cross the plate for the Jays. It is 11 to 1. Surely game one is in the bag now. Let's save some runs for future uh, games here, boys. Pearson to face Hayes, who is 0 for 2 today. 2 and 1 is the count. 2 and, uh, yeah. That is gone. It is 11 to 2. Nate Pearson gives up another solo home run to lead off in innings. Still a decent, or still a good outing from Pearson, let's be fair. Two runs on four hits, but his mistakes are being punished. Santon Dare comes in. He's 0 for 2 today. 1 and 1 is the count. Come on, Nate. That is popped up. Khalil Lee is there. Should be a simple catch. It is, and that is 1 away. Pearson to face Reutschman now, who is 0 for 2 today. 1 and 2 is the count. Another strikeout for, for Nate. That is 9 now through 6, or 5 and 2 thirds. Mancini comes in. He's 0 for 1 today. 2 and 2 is the count. Can he strike out another one to win the innings? Of course he can. A 10th strikeout in 6 innings of work. Magnificent stuff from Pearson. And Tellez, who is 2 for 3 today, will lead us off. 2 and 2 is the count. Tellez up the middle, straight through the shortstop. And it's a leadoff single for Pearson. For Pearson, for Tellez. Another new pitcher comes in, Matt Beatty, who is 0 for 2 to face Sneed. It's a first pitch swing. I don't think Tellez is going to try and steal. That could be a double play. No, Tellez does enough to break it up. But BT stands at first for Jordan Groshans, who is 0 for 3. He has hit that quite well. Is that going to get over center field? It is Jordan Groshans. Is that going to be a triple? It is Jordan Groshans with an RBI triple. So he can do it. There you go, mate. Maybe he's just uh, you know, a little bit nervous settling into the postseason. Another run crosses for the Jays. We have scored in every innings. It's 12-2. Maguire now, who is 2 for 3 today. With that runner at third, that's not going to get the job done. Out at first, Groshans stays at third. And it's William McQuaid now looking for his first hit of the postseason. Can he get an RBI? Oh, that is huge. That ball is not coming back. It is a third-tier home run for William McQuaid. Are we even going to get a measurement on that one? That ball has landed in Calgary. That is massive. It's a William McQuaid home run. It's 14-2. And that is probably the biggest home run we've seen here at, for a very, very long time. Certainly this season. Randall Grishuk comes in now. No one on. Two out. Full count. Grishuk gets a good piece of it. Is that going to get over center field? Yes, center field needs to go back. Don't want to tell you how you do the job, Baltimore Orioles manager. But center field needs to drop 10. And it is Grishuk with a double. 
And it is Khalil Lee to try and keep this thing going. It, he is uh, two for four today. Another full count. Khalil Lee hits that well. Is it going to you know, half volley into the fence? Grishuk's going to score. It's 15 to two. Khalil Lee thinks about third, stays at second. And it is Bo Bichette now as, uh, well, Sneed didn't have a good day, did he? Larkins comes in now to pitch for them. Bo Bichette is three for four. He's been saving all these hits for the postseason as Bo. One and oh is the count. Two out, runner at second. And he's got a good jump out of the batter's box. It's an infield hit as Grishuk goes to third. And can Vlad Jr. further extend this lead? He's 2-4-3 today. Vlad has grounded it towards third base. I don't think he's going to get that one. No, he's not. That ends the innings. But it is four more runs for the Jays. It is 15-2. We have kept up our record of scoring in every innings. And it's Anthony Kay coming in for Pearson, who did have a good day in the end. Mount Castle, who is one for two. Three and O oh is the count. K was decent for us during the regular season. Bit of a slow start here, though. As Mountcastle goes to first. Urena comes in. He's one for two. Owen one's the count. That is hitting to left field. And runners at first and second with no one out. Come on, K. Get to business now. It's Forbes, who's 0 for 2 today. A first pitch swing. That is popped up. Grishuk should have that. Now, can he keep the runner at second? It should be able to. He does. And that is one away. Freddie Galvez comes in. He's one for two with that home run, of course. One and two is the count. Nice strike out there for Kay. That's two away. And if he can get Diaz, he gets himself out of a small jam that he put himself in. Full count. The runners go. And, well, that is going to score runs. A slow start for Anthony Kay. It's a two RBI double. That makes it 15 to four. Maybe a slight concern that we've given up four runs this game. But if we're going to score 15, then that's not a problem. Hayes comes in now to face K. 0-2 is the count. That is going to drop in. Is it going to score another run? Anthony K is having a nightmare. It's an RBI single. Three runs now have crossed this innings. And that'll do it for K. <laughs> and it's Luciano coming in. Elvis is in the building. He's going to face Santon Dare. It's a first pitch swing. It's 15 to 5. That's popped up. Khalil Lee should have a simple catch there. And that ends a disastrous seventh. Well, not disastrous, but certainly not a good seventh. It's 15 to 5 as we stretch. And it's going to be Rowdy Tellez to lead us off. He is 3 for 4 today, is Rowdy. 0 and 1 is the count. Tellez grounds at the second base, and that will be one away. I always feel bad for Anthony Kay. He has been quite good, but he's, his end of the season wasn't fantastic. And I just wonder if he's going into a little bit of a slump at the wrong time. BT grounds it out there to third base. That's two away. And we are in serious danger of not scoring a run for the first time this uh, this game. Groshans. Owen oh, one's the count. Two out, no one on. Jordan Groshans. And that will do it. It's a scoreless innings. This is outrageous. It's still 15 to 5. We go into the 8th. I'm assuming Luciano will continue. He will to Routsman, who is 0 for 3 today. 0 and 2 is the count. That is a ground ball back to the pitcher. Elvis over to Vlad, and that is 1 away. Mancini comes in now. He's 0 for 2 today. 0 and 2 is also the count. And Elvis gets the strikeout. Wonderful stuff. 2 away. And it is Car uh, Cardenas coming into pinch hit. He has not yet bat this postseason. First pitch swing, and that is very well hit into left center. Grishuk goes back to retrieve it at the fence. It's a double, is it? He stays at second, he, so it is a two-out double. And uh, yeah, the pinch hitter gets the job done. You're to come in now. He is two for three today to face Elvis. Three and O's the count. I've got a cat hair in my nose. He walks. Two on, two out now for Forbes. Come on, Elvis. Let's end this, please. Three and one is the count. That's been popped up. Khalil Lee will have a simple catch. And that will end the top of the eighth. We will go to bat for hopefully for what better be the last time this game. It is uh, Reese Maguire who is two for four today. One and two is the count. Maguire. Is it going to drop in? No, it's not. And that is one away. Peraza comes in the bat. He's pinch hitting for somebody. Who was he pinch hitting for? 
Oh, McQuaid. That seems harsh after he absolutely pounded a ball last at bat. Peraza. Is it over center field again? Yes, it is. Center field, mate. Take 10. Peraza with a double. He slides into second. Wonderful stuff. And it will be Randall Grishuk now, I'm assuming. Unless we pinch hit again. We are pinch hitting again. It's Forrest War. His first at bat in the postseason. First pitch swing. Forrest War. That is a ground ball there to second. It will get Peraza to third. But, uh, yeah, not ideal. Khalil Lee now with two out. He is three, four, five today with four RBIs. Oh, and two's the count. He's got another RBI 90 feet away, but he strikes out. And that ends the eighth. Two in a row now, scoreless innings. And it is Elvis to try and close this thing out for us. We've got Forrest War out there in center field. Um, and second base, Peraza comes in. Let's see what Galvis can do. He has one home run. One and two is the count. There's a strikeout for Elvis. That's one away. Diaz comes in. Now he got the two RBI double last time up. Full count on him. Let's end him, Elvis. Let's end him. Wonderful stuff. They're down to their final out. We're essentially 1-0 up now. It's Austin Hayes, who is 2 for 4 today. He grounds it out. Peraza should have a simple play over to Vlad. And we are 1-0 up in the ALDS. So an absolute masterclass from our Toronto Blue Jays. 15-5 in the end. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Uh, and that puts us two games away from playing off for yet another American League title. Uh, but that'll do it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time when there's a chance for a team to progress, whether that is uh, us fighting for our lives or whether that is indeed back after one more game to try and sweep the Orioles. Uh, but that'll be next episode, guys. Until then, I've been Ozzy Villan. Thank you so much for watching. Quick mention for the baseball journeyman. We have a new club. We've just moved to Japan. Um... So if you want to have a look at that playlist, we're playing some proper baseball now, having left Europe, um, that you might enjoy that as well. But until next time, guys, I've been Aussie Villain. Take care.